Nearly 250 years after Africans were first landed on America's shores, the Supreme Court of the United States would proclaim that blacks, by virtue of their race, were not persons before the law. In 1857, in a landmark decision, the Supreme Court ruled in the Dred Scott case that Congress had no authority to limit the spread of slavery to any territory. The Chief Justice's words stunned African Americans. Roger B. Tawney, a Southerner, reads a decision that says that Dred Scott as a black person and black people generally had never been, were not then, could never be citizens of the United States and as such have no rights which white men are bound to respect. Northerners were furious. Wherever our flag floats, protested one newspaper editor, it is the flag of slavery. When abolitionists sought ways to circumvent the Dred Scott ruling, slaveholders pressed for a federal slave law this is astounding. By the late 1850s, the Southerners are demanding that the federal government pass a slave code for all the territories that it acquired in the West. And, and obviously, Northerners aren't about to accept this kind of thing. The battle over slavery was crippling the political process. On a bright spring morning, Congressman Preston Brooks from South Carolina entered the Senate chamber and beat Senator Charles Sumner, the fiery abolitionist, into unconsciousness. Violence is erupting in the halls of government, on the streets of Washington, involving our lawmakers. There are people who are coming to sessions of the House of Representatives and the U.S. Senate armed. In fact, one letter says the only people who aren't coming with two guns are those who are coming with two guns and a knife. <laughs> 